Um, let me see. Where should I start? I read it yesterday, the second chapter, and started to make a video about it, and then I realized I actually need to like sit and let the information stew for a little while before I talk about it. But um, the title of it is called The Negative Theory of Education, and basically um, the author's talking about the unnatural structure of the school system and basically by the end of the chapter he explains how every little piece is in place for a reason and if one little piece falls out of that structure then the whole thing falls apart because of the way in which they are intent on living depends on every piece needs to be where it is but the author does admit that it's a very unnatural way of Learning. education. The first type is the kind that, that's believed that education exists to provide opportunities for a child to learn without external hindrances thrown on top to hinder, like to, to make it harder for them to learn. So that's like what he feels is the purest form of education and basically I guess basically education as the structure is is just basically saying that this is a negative theory of education like you don't think education in and of itself is conducive to learning but the kind he says there's the kind that provides culture and develops a child according to their cap capacities and then there's the oldest kind which is to train useful citizens and as Israelites we've never received much of anything better than the training useful citizens treatment so keep that in mind this chapter talked a little bit about the business of education and how the children are typically trained for the social station in which they already occupy so most of these um schools are training kids to basically carry on in the same station of life in which they were born not to progress and the author actually compared this education to training a horse and he spoke in terms of corporal punishment too but I think that there's other forms of like discipline they've installed in the schools in order to wrangle in uh, the kids and, and um, keep them uh, conforming to to the norms of what to, to the norms of what the, the behaviors you're trying to install in the child. Um, for the most part, like I said, the author focused on that first theory, um, which he referred to basically as the laissez-faire approach or the hands-off approach and why it won't work in, in a modern society. He basically talks about the problems in the structure that's been formed to to educate the youth and um, one of the things he says is actually an issue with the um, with the way that the kids are being taught is that a lot of them are having issues with adults at young at a young age because of because of the school structure they're having issues with adults that they're not even actually they're not even their parents and um, these types of confrontations that these kids are continually having with adults are um, manifesting in different ways as they grow into adults in society. Um, and, and I think that for white kids, and actually this is the take that the author represents, and the reason I say white kids is because this author was not even writing with black people in mind so um, he's talking about his people when he when he um, talks about this but he says that the confrontations that these kids are having with the teachers and the interactions growing up in that system of education that they they end up repressing a lot of their anger and a lot of their hate and resentment for adult teachers that con you know 
coincidentally look just like they do or just like their mother or just like their father they end up repressing those emotions and when they become adults it manifests into different types of issues that are like becomes this problems and problems like societal problems like maniacs and people with issues and um and i'm not at all making excuses for these people i'm just saying that the the system that they have in place to to um bring us down is actually bringing them down too and the author actually uh admits this in saying let's see what he said exactly well this isn't verbatim but it's my notes on the chapter he says um he says um they have conflicts with teachers and they're not allowed to vent their hatred and they repress these feelings and for years they until years later they erupt the author says they're likely to become anarchists atheists military militarists sadists or just plain socially socially inept people and that makes sense that makes a lot of sense and that's probably why a lot of their people are blowing people's brains out and killing their mothers and all sorts of stuff because the system they have in place was originally meant to to um to stay on top and take us down but it, they didn't get off scot-free it's not without consequences um which I was gonna go off into a tangent, but I just I'll leave the teachers or bullies uh, video for another day. The current school system, it kills a child's natural thirst for knowledge by giving them so much information that they can't process. Um, they can't process it all, and by doing that, it makes the kid hate learning. So. As he says that kids that are forced to eat hate eating so kids that are forced to learn hate learning children who are taught literature or painting or music to excess or with a view to correctness rather than to self-expression become progressively less interested in the aesthetic side of life even a boy's interest in mechanical devices can be killed by too much instruction if you teach a boy the principle of the common pump in in lesson time he will try to avoid acquiring the knowledge you are trying to impart. Whereas if you have a pump in your backyard and forbid him to touch it, he will spend all his leisure time studying it. Honestly, I think that's the reason that so-called black people hate reading and hate books and don't like, um, don't like to overexert ourselves in things I've tried so hard to get people to read the scriptures and they won't do it and even myself have a hard time doing it sometimes and I think this is part of the reason because we've been brought up and forced in an educational system that basically had nothing to do with us we were forced forced to learn these things forced to uh, recite these things regurge these things memorize these things we were forced to submit to white authority figures um, as children uh, up until until early adulthood to the fact that to the point where once we were free of the institution of education we really really didn't want to hear anything else about it ever again we didn't want to read we didn't want to be reminded of that terrible feeling of being in a classroom and just being bombarded with so much information that was not even relevant to us and most of it was actually fictional and um, I think that's part of the reason why I don't think it's because we're too lazy to read I think we're traumatized but continuing on so the spontaneity that is taken out of the process and replaced with an unnatural need to please an adult and um, and I, I was thinking you know consider if the child's an Israelite and their teacher is a white person you're continuously programmed to seek the approval of an adult not only an adult 
but an adult that looks like your oppressor year after year after year after year and then you're released into the world and you think that programming hasn't didn't take you know so it's different the um effect it would have on a white child versus the effect it would have on a black child because 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 they end up relating it to everything to their mother to their brother to their father we end up relating it to them like we end up relating it to we need to seek approval from them and we need to be right for them and we need to we need to stand up we need to match up to their standard but they see it differently which is why i think it erupts in different ways with them than it does us but um says too much attention um, to correctness and not the curiosity that's needed to find things out. So it's just basically a really unnatural way of learning. The structure has killed, the structure in and of itself has killed the purest form of education. Um, and another thing, this type of a system, it murders creativity and Israelites, so-called Afri African Americans, or so-called black people, we are very creative people. That is our strong suit. That's where we're strong. We're very creative. And when we're in a system that is made to kill creativity, we are already, we are already, um, we're already on the bottom. Making lessons voluntary is the only way to maximize learning. It, like a self-motivated, you do it by your own interest, is the purest, I guess, one of the purest ways of of getting kids to learn something. Um, he talks about um, keeping kids too clean, and are they truly learning without getting dirty? I mean, that's something to consider. Uh, that type of feel and touch and stuff that is a child's natural education and that's not the way they're being taught in kindergarten and that's not the way they're being taught in first grade um, a lot of kindergartners or kindergarten kindergarten children are like they already know how to tell time they don't even write with those fat pencils anymore they write with skinny pencils they know how to use computers these types of things are forced on them it's not like a natural curiosity to know it's more like it's been it's a curriculum